Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we are going to see about types of errors in C programming and also what is an object code and also what is uh, an uh, executable code. So differences we will see. Okay. So first, what is an error? Error is nothing but an, a bug, right? In technical words, you will tell error as a bug. So when you will try to rectify those errors, you will tell in that as a debugging. That is when you are trying to find out errors, that is nothing but your debugging. So bugs, errors, both are same. Okay, next. Errors in programming language are the faults that occur in the program. Whatever the uh, errors are there, those are generally occurred when you will compile your code or else by mistake you had typed something. Right, instead of a particular keyword, you are using some other uh, spelling mistakes are there, or else you are not following the rules. All those are considered as a errors, right? So in whatever the programming language it may be, the errors are common, but mostly you will concentrate on syntax errors, runtime errors, and logical errors. This linker and semantic errors are not that much concentrated because those are very rare cases, okay? And then, yes, so how many types of errors are there? There are five types of errors like syntax error, runtime error, linker error, logical error, and semantic error. So we'll see one by one in a detailed manner with an example. Okay, what is syntax error? Syntax errors are also known as compilation errors as they occurred at the time of compilation. Right. So the errors which occur during the compilation, all those are nothing but your syntax errors. These errors are mainly occur due to the mistakes while typing when the programmer doesn't follow the grammar rules of the programming language. That's what just now I had said when you're trying to type the program. If you doesn't follow the rules properly, that is you had forgotten to keep the semicolon at the end of the statement uh, or else you had forgotten to declare some variable before using that variable in your programming. The, all those considered as the syntax errors. These errors can be easily corrected. The commonly occurred syntax errors are missing semicolon and a variable without declaration. So these are the general mistakes uh, a programmer will do. And why these are able to easily correct it is whenever you will compile, the compiler will give you the line number, number of errors occurred, which line number you are getting that error, everything in detail your compiler will give you. So if you'll read the errors properly, you'll be able to identify where the error had occurred in your program. That is the reason it is easily corrected. Okay. So consider this example first. Uh, include stdio.h. Here you are trying to include your uh, header file stdio.h and then your void main. And then I had declared, uh, sorry, I had initialized two variables. A is equals to 8 and B is equals to 3. And then I did C is equals to A plus B. So my C value should be 8 plus 3. That is 11. Okay. And that I was printing here. Uh, sum is percentile D and then C. So whatever the C value is there, that one you will get output as sum I is 11. You should get the actual output. But when you will compile this one, you will get number of syntax errors in the above example. R2. So there what you'll get, whatever the program name uh, you will save, according to that, you will get the number of errors are two. So and so line number, you got this error and so and so line number, you had got this error. So you'll get such type of statements. Okay. So what are what is that error here we uh, got in our program is, I didn't declare this C variable, but I had used in two C is equals to A plus B. And even in this line also, I was using the variable C. So what is happening? N number of times I use, N number of uh, errors it will be showing. So that is the reason you got to. Actually, the only one mistake we did is we didn't include, I mean, we didn't declare this variable C. If you declare just here, comma C, then you don't get even these two errors also. So such type of uh, small, small mistakes will lead to the syntax errors where you didn't follow the proper rules of your programming language. Okay, and then next comes our runtime error. So these are the errors which occur after compilation of your program. That is when you will compile, you doesn't have any errors, but when you will execute your program at that time, you will get an error. So generally these runtime errors are also known as exceptions. Okay, so again, uh, there are different types of exceptions like number format exceptions, arithmetic exceptions. So you'll have different types, okay, but 
for time being you remember that runtime errors are also known as exceptions these occur when you will try to run your code or when you will try to execute your code right so check out there the errors exist during the execution time even after successful completion known as runtime errors and when the program is running it is not able to perform the operation that is the main cause for your runtime error so if your compilation is well and good and when you are trying to run if you doesn't get the uh, program run or executed then it leads to you can conclude that you got a some run a runtime error so for that you can consider example is division by zero is a common example of the runtime error these errors are very difficult to find as the compiler doesn't point out to those errors. So these uh, runtime errors cannot be finded out by your compiler. Until and unless you'll run code, you will not be able to find out that some error is there in your uh, program. Okay. And these are difficult because no, it will not show you that so-and-so line had got this error or this exception. So you have to be careful when you're trying to write code with this, uh, I mean, if uh, there is a chance of occurring of runtime errors. So we'll see an example program for this also. So if you just closely observe here in the example, we started with hash include stdiv.h and then void main. Then I took a variable is equals to a to b variable is equals to zero and c is equals to a by b, right? And printf sum is, actually this is not sum, it should be division, right? Division is percentile d c. So what will happen here is, the, um, uh, uh, what will happen here is actually you will get uh, you will compile then you doesn't get any errors but when you will run the code then you will get an exception that is nothing but your runtime error why do I where do I get runtime error in this program c is equals to a by b why a value is 8 and b value is 0 we are trying to divide 8 by 0 which is going to lead to an runtime error that runtime error is also nothing but your arithmetic exception why I was telling arithmetic exception is when you are getting an uh, runtime error with your arithmetic values okay or with your arithmetic operators then those are nothing but your arithmetic exceptions okay so that is the reason you will get here runtime error and that division and modular division such type things are nothing but your arithmetic exceptions or the runtime error so this was one of the example for your runtime error and next coming to your linker error the linker errors are mainly generated when the executable file of the program is not created that is dot exe file will not be created this can happen due to the wrong function prototyping or usage of wrong header file. When you don't give prototype properly, then the execution dot .exe file cannot be created. Or else, if, even if you don't uh, create proper header file, then also there is a chance of not getting created of your .exe file. So in this example, what did I did is hash include stdio.h I have to give but by mistakely I had given studio.h right then uh, then void main printf hello so in this type of program what did I what did I did here is I didn't uh, give my header file properly so what will happen your code will not get linked with stdio.h then what will happen I cannot print the uh, hello right so this type of linking process also there are some errors that is when if you doesn't use proper header files and that um, you need to use a proper header file with the proper formats okay so such type of errors are nothing but your linker errors so that is what linking of header file which is a mistake there and next comes your logical error even if the syntax and other factors are correct, we may not get the desired result due to logical issues. These are referred to as logical errors. See, simple, if I wanted to perform addition of two numbers or three numbers, by mistakely, instead of addition, uh, A plus B minus C I have given. What I should do? A plus B plus C. But in some thought, I have, by mistakely, I had given A plus B minus C. So that time, what will happen? I get the different result. If you'll compile that, you'll get the proper code. And if you will uh, uh, check, no, it doesn't get any runtime error. But output will be a wrong one. So such type of errors are nothing but your 
logical mistake logically it is having some mistake that is the the way you are trying to implement the logic the uh, uh, the logic it is not correct rest all things all the rules and regulations everything you had done perfectly but you are not able to catch the proper logic for your code then such type of errors are nothing but your logical errors so generally we put, we sometimes put a semicolon for after a loop uh, which is syntactically correct but results in one blank loop so consider this example here what I wanted to do in this is just simply print a hello. Uh, I had used a for loop. So how many times will I get? Zero, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Five times hello have to be printed according to my logic. What I had written here is. But what I did here, when I will try to compile, I don't get any errors. When I run, I'll get only one as a output. See here. Print f hello. Why? Why do I get that output actually only once? Actually, I should get it as five times. I had used it here for loop. I had given my condition properly. I had closed my parentheses properly. Everything is well and good according to our programming language. But what is the mistake I did here is I had kept a semicolon for the for loop. So when I keep a semicolon for the for loop outside this parentheses, then what will happen is it will consider as only one time only one time I need to go into the loop. That is next statement has to be printed. That's it. You are trying to close this semicolon indicates that you are trying to stop that value. So what will happen? The for loop will be stopped here. The next statement will be your printf and hello. So you're not going to repeat this value n number of times according to my condition. It is not going to repeat that hello printed, uh, printed value for the five times. So such type of errors are nothing but logical errors. So if you'll closely observe, everything is perfect. Everything is correct. No compilation errors, no runtime errors, but you're getting output as wrong. Instead of five times of printing hello, only single time I'm able to print. So what is happening? I couldn't get my logic properly. Okay. So this type of uh, um, situations do occur due to the logical errors. And then next comes our semantic errors. The semantic errors are the errors that occurred when the statements are not understandable by the compiler the following can be the cases of your semantics so this is one of the sample case where we are trying to do um, a plus b is equals to c so generally what we'll do c is equals to a plus b we'll do but here what did i do i did just reverse of that a plus b is equals to c so same as usual hash include stdio.h void min i initialized uh, two variables a is equals to three b is equals to two and then c is another variable a plus b is equals to c printf sum is percentile d and c okay so if i do such type of mistakes then it leads to the semantic errors that system or that compiler could not understand what you are trying to do what is that particular statement then that is nothing but your semantic errors right so these are uh, different types of uh, Errors which are which are available in all the programming languages. You'll have syntax errors, you'll have runtime errors, you have logical errors. So all the errors you will be available in your all programming languages. Okay. So then next comes what is an object code and what is an executable code. So generally your source code that is a high level language which we will write in your editor with the extension of .c for your C program, .java for your uh, uh, Java programs uh, for C plus plus. You'll give .dot uh, uh, cpp right c plus plus and for python you'll give dot py so like the different uh, extensions will be there for each and every program the source code is actually the high level code which is understandable by the human so that source code you will give to concerned compiler that compilers will generate your object file and this object file will link with the linker that is it is given to the linker and this linker will link the library files which are required and then it will produce an exe file exe file is nothing but your executable file and ob object file is nothing but dot obj file okay so here the source code is uncompiled one object code is compiled one after linking you'll get dot exe file so the object code is the output of a compiler after it processes the source code and the object code is usually a machine code 
and also called as machine language, which can be understood directly by specific type of CPU. In the previous lectures, we had also discussed different types of languages, right? So your object code is a machine level language, right? It is understandable by CPU, not by the users. And then the next comes here. Uh, however, some compilers are designed to convert source code into assembly language or some other uh, some other programming language. And uh, an assembly level language is human readable notation uh, using the mnemonics. That mnemonics are nothing but your symbols in the ISA of that particular CPU. So few of them will directly convert it to executable codes. Few of them will convert dot uh, obj file after giving to linker it will generate an assembly code and then it will be compiled into your executable code so here mnemonics are nothing but symbols i think in the previous lectures i had said uh, in some programming languages like mpi that is microprocessing and all you will use directly registers and what so such type of thing that is half it is understandable by the users half it is understandable half it is not understandable it is nothing uh, you can tell it like middle level language Language, not exactly low level, not exactly high level. It is a middle level language. Okay. So generally this type you can mostly learn in your uh, COA that is computer organization and architecture, which will be coming in your um, second years and third years and all. Right. So and then the next one is executable also called the binary. It is the output of the linker after it processes the object code. So once assembly assembly language is generated it will be converted into .exe file that is nothing but your binary code okay and then a machine code file can be immediately executable that is runnable or it might be require linking with the other object files to produce a complete executable code so it depends on the cpu of your program that is why you will tell that a uh, few programs a uh, few programming languages are dependent on the system few programs are not dependent not dependent um, according to technical terms you can tell it as portable and not portable okay so portable and not portable is if you are trying to execute your program in in one system the same or dot exe file can be executed on the other system also that is it is portable okay if it if you could not uh, uh, execute such type things and it is not portable okay so portable is moving from one to another Right. So that's all for today's uh, lecture. Thank you all.